Hi you guys and welcome to another episode of The Boys Have Outspoken. We are here to discuss season nine, episode four of RuPaul's Drag Race. May the best woman win. Yeah, that was good. Right? Yeah, I'm trying. Good. John, I mean, I'm just, you know, <laughs> Okay, girl. You know, so what'd you guys think? What'd you guys think of the, of the fourth episode? Hmm? Uh-oh. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I just feel like I'm gonna be like the season crybaby. <laughs> <laughs> so shady, girl. It was good. Oh, I it was good. good. It was good. You know what I was really happy about is that I feel like Shea Coulee and uh, Sasha Valor finally had a moment to shine. Right. Yeah. People are like, finally stepping up their game yeah. a little bit, or at least getting the chance to sign because mm-hmm. there's less queens or whatever it is. Yeah. But we're getting to see a little more personality from more of them. Right. right. I still am waiting to see personality from a couple of people. Yeah. I.e. Peppermint and Pheromone, who I'm, are seen to be the next to go pretty soon. Right. But for the most part, everyone is showing their personality. Right. 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 So, well, what did you guys think of the challenge? The ch- uh, it, was a, it was a good challenge. Like yeah. that was a good one to put the queens in. Of course, we could relate. Absolutely. We, hey, it is not easy to put on a talk show. It is, it is not. not. It's hard to have chemistry, and it's hard to it you know tough. learn to talk we're over each other. still working on it. See? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Aja and Trinity were the team captains. They got to pick which teams they wanted. Right. Uh, what do you think? Do you think anyone had more of the edge with a stronger team going into it? I mean, I kind of knew ahead of time that Aja's team had like the mm-hmm. best kind of team. They just look like an all star cast right. um, for their talents. Not right. saying that the other right. teams weren't good, but for this specific challenge, I felt like she had a one up. Mm-hmm. I think so. I agree. Too. She knew what she was doing based mm-hmm. off of who she was picking in right. the, for, for her team. And mm-hmm. I see you, Aja. <laughs> Well, what did you guys think about Nina getting picked last? Were you surprised? I was pretty shocked that she got picked last. You know, um, I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure it was more of a, of a tactic type of situation. Mm-hmm. And also, they're probably seeing her at just one note. But this challenge showed that Nina is more than just, you know, a person who paints um, pretty pictures on her face. Exactly. Right. She was the strongest one on their team, and they picked her last. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Well, I mean, they did make a point as far as, like, you know, her kind of being a downer. And, you know, I get why you wouldn't want to have that on your team, but... If I was looking at like I like your aesthetic, you're different, and she's funny, so I would have grabbed her. At least, definitely not last. Right. I feel like the ones that definitely excelled in that in that challenge, I would say, obviously Nina Bonino Brown and uh, uh, Eureka did really, really, really good because yeah, yeah. the chemistry was there. That was one thing they pointed out when they were judging them. They were like, the chemistry, you can't buy that shit. Right. They looked like they had true. fun, and it was just like natural, like yeah. for the both of them. I like them as a duo. I could see them like having a cute kiki. Right. Like right. you know how uh, they do rap presents on the YouTube, and they mm-hmm. have like yeah. two people doing things Total, together. Oh, Eureka, I could see Nina. Them too. Yeah. yeah right. I agree. What, what did you guys think of um, Aja and? Um, What's the other one's name? There she goes. <laughs> You're gonna be shady to me, to your girl. She said, Hi, it's <laughs> me, Valentina. <laughs> girl, okay, yeah. that was terrible. They, they were they were both terrible in the challenge. Both I terrible. thought, like, well, no shade, I love you both, but they were both. They were big. both terrible. Yeah, because well, first of all, the chemistry was is not there between the yeah. two of them yeah. because they already had static with one another. Because yeah. you know, Aja came for your girl, mm-hmm. and I love I mean, this. That's kind of like they started the episode, right? Mm-hmm. Like Aja was like, all right, I'm gonna be honest. Like I didn't think you deserved to be in the top. Uh, talking to Valentina and mm-hmm. you know of course I would feel a certain way if someone keeps coming for me right. and bitch I didn't send for you yeah <laughs> exactly right. Right. so I could right, kind right. of see you know why the chemistry wasn't there on the challenge because there was so much fucking tension and I felt like if they put that aside it could have been really good mm-hmm. yeah I agree do you feel like they were competing with one another in that scene yeah I think that's so. why it was Wait, well, was... I would say I think Aja was probably a little more in a competitive state of mind because she really wanted to outdo Valentina. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah. But like always, Valentina handles everything with grace, B. You have to admit. She, does. Oh, she handles it all really well. She does. She is quite graceful. And what I did love is that Aja did, after she had her moment, yeah. she apologized. And that's why I love Aja because I can relate to her. Mm-hmm. Sometimes yeah. I get in my feels and I say things. They did have a moment, yeah, and they're like, I like how Valentina called her out, like, I'm not getting a good impression of you, mm-hmm. girl. Like, this, are you sure this is what you kind of want to do? Yeah. Right. And, Val, you know, like you said, Aja got over quick and apologized. And yeah. Valentina being the, you know, lady that she is, accepted <laughs> the apology and moved forward. Eureka and Trinity were on a team together, surprisingly. Mm-hmm. Um, but there was a a little bit of friction. Uh, do you think Trinity uh, was fair in picking the roles for everyone and kind of? So why do you wait? You shady ass. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god! Well, since you wait, now we can go first. <laughs> um, I kind of 
did got like re Eureka side of things. Yeah, I did feel like Trinity was kind of aggressive as far as like this will be you, this will be you. I feel like should have been more like okay, let's read over like the other group did. Right. What do you feel like most comfortable with? I felt like you know Trinity was just kind of trying to be that bitch, and I get it. You are the team captain, but at the same time, you do have to be more open to people's ideas. Yeah. I mean, I see well, where, where was going. the ideas that they were giving her? Huh? Where was the ideas they were giving her? Huh? Uh, well, I felt like a, the team captain is telling me, like, hey, here's this, here's this, here's this, go in your group, go in your group. I guess it's not too much else I can say. Right? If you say, well, do you think that maybe we should do this? What about this? You could say that. I would well, say that. Well, even when Eureka tried, she had some resistance. Now, now I would say, you know, I, you like, like a little bit of control. So Trinity was controlling everybody mm -hmm. and say, this, this, that, the other. You're saying that it's okay to actually give everybody a chance to be like, I want this, that, and the other. Right. So it's basically like splitting up the two ideas mm -hmm. and just putting it, you know, into the way we're starting yeah. off on mm -hmm. the wrong foot. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? Know, I think, she open -minded. I think she could have applied that control and then also allowed Eureka the um, free spirit of way of like doing the whole thing. And at the end of the day, I still agree with Trinity's decision because Eureka is all over the place. Yeah, you're really just, she's had a reputation throughout the whole fucking thing, like constantly putting her two cents in and talking yes. over everybody. Trinity's never been doing that. So when no. she finally got given the responsibility of being the team leader, I could I could see like when Nina Bonina said, Well, girl, you give off this impression, like there wasn't room for us to really say anything. Right. But what I'm saying is that if that's the way that they felt, why didn't they say they it? Say it. I think like, it's credence to both sides. Close yeah. mouths don't get fed, and I don't. I don't think that was Trinity's intention. I don't think Eureka has a problem with that. <laughs> with what? <sighs> Getting with what? fed. <laughs> You know what? Jab? I'm <laughs> uh, well, just trying to lighten the mood. Serious talking. I just think that's really insensitive. You know I've packed on a few that pounds part. in the past year. Yeah. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Sorry, Sasha. I mean, we're doing that it. was much. Like, yeah, yeah, that little moment in the room. I thought, I mean, I get it. Mm -hmm. You know, eating yeah. disorders and we have to be sensitive about things, but no other drag queens in a room joking and, you know, yeah, it wasn't I didn't that think, serious. Yeah, she was trying to be malicious. I was like, yeah. hey. Eureka tell her jokes. Like, it wasn't anything malicious. It was just like, okay, you're talking about something. Let me just put light. And, you know, I don't think she really thinks Valentina has an eating disorder. If she did, I don't think that would have been a joke. Yeah. Right. But, you know, and I hate that we didn't even get to see what. Uh, what they were going to talk about. I know. Was. I know. I mean, but I guess we'll wait on it. We but no, I feel like Valentina, that, that's typical Valentina, girl. She doesn't feel the need to it. To, if, it sh if it was shade, she's like, oh, well, you know what? I keep mm -hmm. winning. <laughs> yeah. you know, like, and I did like how she was like, yeah, this is just going in circles. Right. Right? So, mm -hmm. She's like, why don't you focus do, on everybody get ready for the runway? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love she it. definitely is very, about. very calm and cool under pressure so far yeah, and yeah. able to handle whatever's yeah. thrown at her as far as the shade and stuff and yeah. keep very classy about herself. And so. that's the quality I that's the quality I really like about Valentina. I wish and I wish I actually held myself as how to really be cool under pressure. Because right. I know I can, I can like just explode and just you know be like whatever. But she really yeah. is cool under pressure. I'm odd on that sense. I'm mm. Aja, yeah, 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 little Aja, little you know, <laughs> yeah. emotional and kind of angry and kind of bitter, but I realize the error of my ways at the end. Mm -hmm. I think at the end of the day, you could tell all these fucking queens love each other, oh, and yeah, obviously yeah. producers set it up yeah. for them to for their because what what is gonna what's a reality show without a little bit of drama? Right. You know, it's a right. dramatic right. situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, no matter what, if you're competing for something, there's a little drama there. You all want the same thing. Plus, you're literally gay men, drag queens you know, transgender people in our community is known for being a little dramatic and a little right. fun and campy and yeah, that is true. Tasha Valor was too sensitive. A little, maybe. Just a little I mean we don't know her maybe her history with it all, but she was a little sensitive. Mm -hmm. She has a good body though. You saw how her muscles popping up? Mm -hmm. What happens when you don't eat? No bitch, she serves she serves <laughs> I'm sorry, that was too far. Oh my god! <laughs> Now you're gonna think ah, this is the time. Yes, this is now. Joshua O'Hara right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I really, really like the fact that Charlie Hydes had addressed, you know, the AIDS epidemic that happened in the 80s and the 90s. That, right. And she taught, you know, she was talking about how that's the, during the time she was coming out as gay mm -hmm. and she lost a lot of her friends who were talented drag queens and artists. And what I loved about her doing that and the fact that she got emotional about it was that she kind of brought it to light to a newer generation of our, to our right. LGBT you know, QIA plus whatever community yeah. and let us know that it hasn't always been this easy. We haven't always, I mean, we right. still have a lot of work to do with our community. Yeah. But we and made strides with yeah. medications and prep and things like exactly. that. Exactly. But and it is it, very important for us younger generations to yeah. 
be aware of what people that came before us, what they went through with the whole it's a, it's a topic that like doesn't get, you can't get tired of talking about it mm -hmm. because it's so it's still in our community. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if you think it's scary now, imagine being back then when they didn't know what it was. It wasn't mm -hmm. even a name. It was just right. taking all your friends. So mm -hmm. I love that she brought that to light and you saw a more personable side of her because she is older queen. She's been there, done that. She's mm -hmm. paved the way. And that's why I do have a lot of respect for Absolutely. her. Absolutely. Right. So that was very touching. People our age, you know, but even, even, even younger, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there, you have to keep in mind there are gay people I mean gay children coming out of the mm -hmm. closet like in yeah. you know middle school and things who are you know getting all these apps and things and many people who don't really know the risk that they're taking or you know they don't really know the history about what's mm -hmm. going on so that's another reason why what Charlie said was so you know <clears throat> well we can we can thank our public school system for that because they don't like educating students on sex and You're sexual right. health well, but that's another topic that we'll get into another day. Day. Yeah. how do you guys think the first team did in the commercial that's uh Aja's team Valentina. Aja Farah Valentina Farah Alexis, just, Alexis, Alexis, Farrah, Alexis, uh, Farrah, Alexis, because they were the, the the two anchors. Right. Farrah is killing me because she is so fucking boring. And excuse my language, excuse my language. She's very pretty, but she's giving off nothing to me. Like right. I just, I don't know what she's doing there, who she is, how she will get there. And kind of, and it reminds me when me and Jen saw her at Mickey's performing. Mm -hmm. She was good, but did I? I don't know if you remember, but I said to myself, "Who is she? Um, she's not really giving me anything. She was just doing the motions and smiling, and you know, just it was like a stock performance. So that's what she's doing on this show. It's mm -hmm. just like stock performances. I'm pretty. I look good. I'm young. That's it. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I'm not to disagree with you on this. Okay. I really thought, yeah, she wasn't the greatest, but I actually thought you got to see her some more comedy side. So I actually thought this was the first episode. I'm like, okay, bitch, I see. A you thought that was funny. Yeah, actually, I thought her and Alexis did like a little good, like, you know, because I knew what they were going for, like, what's uh, going on, y'all, you know what I mean? I uh, thought they did that aesthetic good, and maybe because it wasn't a big range. Right. Look, look, you wanted my honest opinion, that's my honest opinion. But I feel like your opinion's coming from shade. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, <laughs> no, but she doesn't do, she doesn't do much for me. I think she's next to go. I, there, I said it. Well, Soon. she definitely does need to step up her game because she hasn't really shown us anything. Like you said, she is gorgeous. This week was probably one of her strongest weeks because it kind of gave everybody like a specific role to shine in. So we've gotten to see all of them a little bit. Mm -hmm. But uh, she's definitely got to step it up because you can't. We can't rely on pretty. Am I the only one that thinks pheromone looks like Christina Aguilera circa like oh, back you know to what? basics? I can see that. She I does. See that. Like, so you got, like, this is totally off topic, but she needs <laughs> to like do... Christina. Uh, Christina Aguilera, mm. it, and then what's her face in Vegas? The one who does Britney, what's her name? Derek uh, Barry. Barry. They should do like a, you know, like a- Oh, that would be cute. Be cute. <laughs> Britney, like they could do maybe, and then get like Charlie Heights to be Madonna. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> book, it. book it, you guys. Yeah. Oh, Y'all perform that VMA, yeah. recreate it. They give us free tickets. Shea Coule and Sasha doing the demonstration. That was, that was so funny. They were both really hilarious. Oh, they played really hilarious. well off of yeah. each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, they slay, they kill. It was good to see both of them. There's another two that we've talked about that need to kind of step it up, and they finally got to this week. Yeah. So. Is it, you know what though, is it that they need to step it up, or is it that in the editing, they're just not giving them a lot of like camera time for certain episodes? Because sometimes it almost seems like they accentuate certain queens more than other ones. At the end of the day, you gotta worry about time. Mm -hmm. And you know, so that, you know, you get 43 minutes. We wanna see the top three and the bottom three, and we wanna see their stories, and that's what it is right now. Yeah. So we get to, you know, maybe eight queens. You're not gonna really get a lot, enough of everyone in each episode. Totally. Yeah. We gotta weed these hoes out. Yep. Which is right. why they kind of shortened the runway this mm -hmm. episode, which I was kind of bothered by. Yeah, I want to see them give the look and really give the full of, character and commentary. Yeah, that. I know. Girl, I just can't help but feel like it has to do with the fact that now it's on VH1. Like, you the way so? that things are getting edited. Well, it, they've done that before. This is the thing, though. With VH1, you gotta think about, like, you want to get renewed. You So you're gonna need more moments. Yeah. You're gonna need more drama moments. Absolutely. So that's why they're more in, like, when they're getting ready, I feel like we're getting a lot of more of those moments when they're being intimate and talking because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, that's what's going to get that renewal season. Mm -hmm. This is like starting over from a new season. It's like, this is like season one, you know, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. It's on a new network, a bigger network. Mm -hmm. You know, the first um, episode did a million, you know, views. Like, right. It was really big. Uh, it was really big for VH1 yeah, yeah, yeah. and Drag Race. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I feel like this season, they're kind of like doing like the, uh, the new thing. So we'll yeah. see. We'll see. We shall see. And a lot of people are actually pissed about the mini challenges as well. Like, 
We're used oh, to seeing yeah. mini challenges. Oh yeah, no, that, that, I, that, that, I, that I, I didn't even know that there were. No, mini I, I definitely yeah, missed that. I feel like a lot of people have been like, are kind of pissed about. It. They want the old group hall. I miss back, the big group. Some of the old, well, no pit crew, no, no the the challenge, group. the library. That's one of the class or the puppet show where they all make puppets of each mm. other. Hopefully they'll have I, those I think challenges they do. still. Because those are mini challenges. Well, maybe once they get down a little bit more, they'll add that stuff. I back agree. Yeah. So I can't help but get a little irritated because for starters, y'all had Wendy Williams be the one to host Fierce Fridays, which Whoa. really, bitch, like somebody who clearly is not an ally for our community and then is making all these changes to the show, yeah. can't help but kind of put a sour taste in our mouth and kind of be like, uh, why are you taking something that RuPaul started and just turning it into something else? Like, this was a really big season. You know, there was a lot of big changes going into it with the movie networks, with Lady Gaga, with the secrecy of that, with Cindy Lee coming back. I think now we're gonna see the show kind of get more on track, I'm hoping. I think, you know, it'll it'll start to get, as we get down to less queens, it'll be more on track of the class of RuPaul that we think. Hopefully, we'll see. I just hope we'll they see. don't change too much about they it. Better so, not. Yeah. And they better have my damn Snatch Game on there, I tell you that much, or I will walk up to oh. the studio myself. Mm. <laughs> they don't mm -hmm. they do. Yeah, don't they have don't. Snatch Game. Yeah. All right, so team two, Trinity Taylor's team. Mm -hmm. Not not as strong as team one. Not, not as strong. Not as strong. It's fine. Uh, starting with the anchors, her and Peppermint. They just, I don't know what kind of skit they were doing or they had this whole backstory, but it didn't really flow well with the morning show routine. Peppermint's not giving it to me, man. No. She's very, she, you know, I, like, like, like what they mentioned in the workroom. Peppermint is a legend and a staple in the New York scene. Mm -hmm. So for her to be not doing as well as we hope she would, mm -hmm. it's bothering me. You know, I've never seen Peppermint on you know, YouTube and things for a very long time. And she, you're not giving it to me, Peppermint. I disagree. I know I'm in a lot of shippers and a lot of people want Peppermint to go home. But I actually thought even though she couldn't deliver her line, it reminded me of like funny like anchor woman not on her shit. Like mm -hmm. that, you know, like cracking up and like when is she isn't supposed to, even though she didn't mean to give off mm -hmm. that judge. Uh -huh. She still gave me comedy. Yeah, okay. I could see that. If you she would have went all the way with it more, like she knew she kept flubbing and things. If she would have like taken it and went with it all the way, that would have been better. Mm -hmm. I just yeah. still could feel it. It was just a disconnect with her and Trinity and their hosting and flubbing mm -hmm. the lines. Like, right. You know. mm -hmm. It was tough. I didn't like Charlie Hyde's how he tried to like limit Cuckoo into what mm -hmm. she can do. Oh, yeah. Like worry about yourself. Like at the end of the day, she's gonna be judged yeah, by I herself, and you're gonna be judged by yourself and how you did. Yeah, and that's exactly what and happened. I didn't like the way she was pr trying to, you know, have her pronunciate or right. enunciate her words, right. and, mm -hmm. you know, in, in certain ways that Cynthia Lee Fontaine can speak. It's just that her her stick is like what Sofia Vergara Vergara mm -hmm. does. You know, she kind of amps up that whole that accent, accent, accent thing, the, and, yeah. and, and yeah. mispronouncing stuff. That yeah. that's her thing, and it makes her likable. It's yeah. part of her mm -hmm. comedy thing. You almost see like she was worried too much about it. Like mm -hmm. she was worried about it. Be like, is it funny enough to where she couldn't even like be herself and deliver comedy? Right, and that's what she's kind of known for. I actually thought Charlie was gonna blow this out the water because she makes videos and she's been doing this for years. But unfortunately, she she, she water, over right? she over she overthought it. I yeah, think. That she choked. Totally yeah. Thing. Well, Eureka and Nina had no problem with the comedy. They brought it. They did yeah. great. Yeah. They saved the team. Mm -hmm. yeah. I almost think that those two should have switched places with Aja and Valentina, and then that whole team would have been really strong. Oh. Our, I love Aja and Valentina, but they sucked in that challenge. Mm -hmm. And you know, then it would have been a whole strong team. So mm -hmm. what I liked. About about Nina and Eureka was that Nina finally had a moment to showcase her her, her, her skills for as a uh -huh. comedian. Like, girl, you funny. Why yeah, do you always yeah. make it seem like you're gonna do bad every week? You killed it. Like you were amazing. She was great. Yeah. 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 And Eureka, obviously, I think Eureka's naturally a comedy yeah. queen. Mm -hmm. So it, uh, it, they were perfect. Chemistry Played was there. Strings, yeah. Let us please talk about these runaway looks. I need to know who did you guys think was the best and who was the worst. B, let's start with you. Naughty 90s. All right. Naughty 90s. Naughty 90s. Naughty 90 was the thing. Naughty 90s. The bottles for me were Cindy Lee Fontaine. Because oh. what the fuck was that? Yeah. Eureka mm -hmm. and um, Peppermint. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, those are my bottoms. Right? Those are my bottoms. Yeah, yeah same. Best. Yeah. My best would have to be Nina Blina Brown, Shea Coulee, Valentina. Yeah. Oh, she's warming up. <laughs> oh, no, she's no, warming I up. I love the ostrich feather and the I know, pink, pink she wore. It was very beautiful. Right. Very mm -hmm. hot. Personally, she wasn't one of the bottoms for me with the looks, but I wasn't crazy about Valentina's wig. 
It looked a little okay. stiff okay. to me. Crunchy. Okay. It looked a little crunchy and stiff. Mm -hmm. But other than that, you could put a fucking, she could go bald and she's still beautiful. It doesn't sure. matter. Like, she's, she's just gorgeous. Uh, I would have to say for me, my personal favorite is my girl Nina Bonina Brown. Oh, yeah. Slayed yeah. that zombie Naomi Campbell look. Like, I loved it. The titties bouncing, that hair, the skull. I girl, loved it. Yeah. Everything. The worst for me, I'm sorry, girl, Peppermint was the worst for me. Like, I could see her little, like, I don't know what it was down at the bottom when she turned around, the little tampon string. Yeah, I don't know what it was. I was like, like, really, girl? <laughs> like, her bloomers were well, not fitting. It was a diaper. Di there you go. <laughs> As a woman of a certain age. You yeah. know? <laughs> I completely agree. Peppermint, I did not like her runway at all. I definitely think it was the weakest. Uh, I didn't really care for Cuckoos either. Um... The strongest, uh, I love Nina's look. Like I said, it was very creative. It was something different. I love that when she mixes aesthetics like that, she can be a fierce bitch and still do like a little character. Mm -hmm. And so I love Nina's. I mean, obviously I love Valentina. She was gorgeous. Farah, she looked gorgeous to me. And Shea Coulee, that's the one. Shea oh my god, Shea Coulee. Yeah. Shea Coulee was yeah. I love them. It was like Chicago. The, yeah. Or Chicago. Totally. Is I she loved it. Who she kind of looked like? Brandy. If you guys ever seen Brandy on um, doing Chicago on, on oh, Broadway, oh wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God, she did. Brandy yeah, on Chicago on Broadway. That's what she looked like. Very cell really. block tango. Shay, Shay was serving. She was yeah. serving. Sure. That was a great look. All right, we all know she loves Valentina. And no, I'm just kidding, girl. <laughs> I'm just kidding, girl. Go ahead. Well, like I was saying, <laughs> <laughs> so Valentina up. was my top. <laughs> She really and wants it to her to be her top. And I never usually yes. say that for Valentina, but of course I always say that. <laughs> no, I did think she brought a look and she it was she sexy is. and um, I loved it. Yeah. Now for the I, bottom, I did feel like peppermint lagged. Mm -hmm. I was like, girl, where were you going? Like, you just came from... <laughs> Don't know where she was going with that, but you know what? She didn't end up in the bottom, so... And I do think because of her challenge, saved her a little more. I know y'all didn't think she did the greatest, but I think that helped her out because that runway... Not right. Look. Right. So they didn't leave much anticipation. They kind of announced right away that the top looks right. were uh, well. The team, the Aja team, won obviously, which we knew they would. Their video was way better, right. mm -hmm. and that uh, Shay and uh, Sasha did the best on their team, which mm -hmm. they did, and they really stood out. So they were the calls. winners. It was close, like, yeah. You know, with Eureka and Nina, Nina but for yeah. sure, I, they deserved it. If mm -hmm. their team would have been the winning team, those two would have for sure won. Oh, yeah. 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 We, so when the girls went back to uh, for Untucked, mm -hmm. drama, a lot more drama again. Always. Yeah. yeah. Alexis seems to like to poke at it every time and kind of get Alexa, everyone's opinion on everything. The the That's the only time I see her talk is when untucked when she's getting everyone. <laughs> and, yeah. There's something about the tone of that of her voice, girl, when she talks to them. It's almost like, oh god, here we go. What? Uh -oh. Alexis, girl, shut up. <laughs> oh. Shut up, girl. Like I don't know what else to tell you. Like she really talks down to the other queens and like really tells them what they should and should not do. When, in my opinion, and I've heard a lot of other people say this, mm -hmm. I think she's probably the most, I don't want to use the word basic, she's the most standard drag. She's the most standard drag queen there. Her the, aesthetic is like the, what you expect, classic. classic, glamorous. And I'm like, girl, you really, really be talking to these other queens like as if like you are the best of the best, girl. Sit, well, tone it down a little bit. She's like a well-rounded queen. I like Alexis. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to grow on her. I do mm -hmm. think she cares, and that's why she talks a lot. And did you see you talking about, you know, the people like you should do this and that? I think she gives a damn, and that shows something about her character. Kind of like almost a motherly instinct yeah, she, in a way. Is that yeah, I don't. I I personally don't read it as condescending either. I do mm -hmm. think she. I always see know she's gonna talk and stir everything up and get everyone talking. I don't know if that's her trying to stand out a little bit, but I do think it comes from somewhat of a mothering place. Right. Uh, it hasn't seemed too malicious yet. We'll see. The big drama was uh, Eureka and Trinity. Mm -hmm. Again, they carried it over to the workroom. They didn't quite make up like Aja and Valentina did. So mm -hmm. what do you think of their little their little back and forth and their fight? I love every second of it. Yeah. <laughs> that, <was so> <laughs> that fight it was so, I was like, yes. Get yeah. it. No, I loved it too. I was I like, I'm ready it. for a little bit of a little drama it. on the show. Um, uh, tr I totally agree with, tr with Trinity. Okay. Eureka and also, Eureka needs to learn how to let people fucking talk. And I understood Trinity's frustration mm -hmm. because if, if that was me in that situation, you're gonna let me talk. And I liked the way she said, when Eureka was like, 
I'm not done. But she was like, no, but you are. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Classic Brian. <laughs> You're done. I'm, I'm talking now. So mm. it was, it was, it was, you know, I feel like it was, it was needed. Yeah. It was needed. Yeah. I, I was definitely team Trinity on this situation too, because I feel, I do feel like that Eureka needs to shut up sometimes. But also, I couldn't help but feel like that the drama that was happening between them wasn't so much because she felt like Tr Trinity was being a dictator. I feel like a lot of it has to do with that she resents Trinity because all the drama that they had back in the day. Yeah. Like, nobody else blew it out of proportion the way that Eureka did, you know? Mm -hmm. So Even and, when she said... Well, I think she was right in what she was... I personally think Eureka was right in some of the things she was saying to her as far as her being on the bottom because she was team leader. Maybe she could have been a slightly better leader. Mm -hmm. I, I do agree with that. But... Like you said, nobody else seemed quite as bitter. There's still that little bit of rivalry with Eureka, and that's why I think she feels it a little extra than everybody else might have, and it affected her more. So mm -hmm. I do agree with you. I feel like Eureka actually was telling how it was. Like you were being this way, and this is why you deserve to be at the bottom. You are the team captain, mm -hmm. and this is the tea. Maybe Trinity got a little offended by it because like no one wants to be in the bottom. But at the same time, you got to be able to let this person that you were the leader of tell you why they feel like you're in the bottom. Well, I'm going to tell you you're done and this is why. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I mean, it was it was all because the, the judges asked the question, who do you think should go home? That's always the instant drama starter mm -hmm. when they ask them on the runway, who do you think should go? And, you know, kind of puts people against each other a little bit. Right. Yeah. Yes. And I feel like Trinity said Charlie. I know she told her because she knew she wouldn't be. I don't think that's true. Because, like, you're e easier for me to lip sync again. Yeah, I think yeah. so, too. Yeah. Which, Join me, sis. Get in the ring with me, girl. I got it. Which, right. going back, well, she was right. Well, do you think that the judges got it right? The f bottom two? Do you think it should have been Trinity and Charlie? Or do you I think Peppermint should have been, been there? Peppermint and Trinity. I, I actually, actually agree with Peppermint you. and Charlie. I That's think it should be Peppermint and Trinity, personally. Tr uh, you thought Trinity was good there? You, you don't think Charlie uh, should have? I get... Uh, just just because of the challenge. I'm talking about strictly the challenge. Trinity, Charlie, and Peppermint, for me, didn't do good in that challenge. Mm -hmm. They all kind of flubbed, they all kind of messed up. So all three right. of them did bad. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes to their runway look, I think Peppermint was bad. So for me, Peppermint should be there 100%. Charlie and uh, Trinity, both of their runway looks I thought were really good, but because she was the leader by default, I just think it should have been her and Peppermint. Okay. Just, that's just yeah. my opinion. Well, and it probably would have been I, a better lip sync. Like, well, yeah. I just thought they got it right this time. I'm sorry. I did feel like Charlie deserved to be there. I felt like Trinity deserved to be there as well. Uh, I think, you know, Peppermint, her runway wasn't great, but I do feel like she did better in the challenge. Now, I do hate that I don't get to see Charlie and his looks and his Joan Rivers. I know mm. he would do that in his Snapchat. So Joan! So I, I do hate that, but for this challenge, she didn't bring it, so. For yeah. sure. Unfortunately. When, when it came to the lip sync, well, Charlie, very disappointing lip sync. Charlie mm -hmm. showed us where he stood. He said, look, I don't lip sync. No. Yeah, Trinity like, Taylor came through, though, and actually yeah. gave us a show. I she did. Surprised. She did. Yeah. yeah. Trinity gave she us everything. She didn't have to do much compared to Charlie. She just did a skin. She, but she gave it all. Yeah. She, yeah. she wanted to show what she's mm -hmm. about. And yeah. now she's definitely going to be one to watch. And mm -hmm. I definitely wouldn't want to be in the bottom two singing against her. Her and Asha mm -hmm. are both, like... Yeah. Lip sync queens. I would not oh, want to be anywhere that would be near them. Great to see Aja versus Trinity. I know that would be a good lip sync, but oh like, my gosh, I that know. would be it. Would be the oh, that would be good. Good. I just I just couldn't even look at the TV watching Charlie. It was, it was uncomfortable. Was, it almost yeah. made me look at him a little different. That you're not even in try. So mm -hmm. just like. So stiff. I'm like, girl, maybe, maybe if this was, don't go chase. <laughs> but other than that, bitch, I don't yeah. know why you're sitting in that same spot. Were you uncomfortable, Ham? Were you blocking it? It was uncomfortable. You have to see this bitch, but she gets uncomfortable. Pillows go over her I face. Have to see <laughs> What, wait, wait, wait. Even Sasha was covering her face. Right. Like, and you, you, you and they were so yelling at her, do something. Yeah, you like, think it was so important she was sitting down the whole time. Like, mm -hmm. girl. Yeah, what did yeah. I just say? It looked like she was shooing kids off her yard or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Like, Scatter kids. Oh, right. so, like, I, think, I, I do think they got it right, though, by sending, oh, yeah, sending sure. Charlie home. Because... It, I don't care how old or how young you are or whatever. Once you give up this vibe, is like you give up oh, in the competition. Yeah. Go by. Because yeah. everyone else has there is spirit. so many other people that would love to be in your in the situation that you're in. Yeah. Say, so I always go back to the Dor Delano thing, bro. Yeah. I'm sorry. Too, like, once you check out, bye, girl. Pull it together. Bye. They're all. Everyone's got struggles. Everyone's yeah. got problems. Everyone has things they excel at. It's we the all got that pain. And I respected that about Trinity Taylor. She was like, No, when I'm in a difficult situation, I step my game up and I like really start pushing and through it. I'm like, she slayed that lip sync. Yeah. Slayed it. That, slayed that, it. Was, that was a word for me when she betrayed this and I, you know, because, because listen, it's been a hard week for me. So when she said, 
Um, when she's in a difficult situation, she steps up. I was like, you know what? Let me fucking step mm-hmm. up. And yeah. right. Now, you know? I do know Charlie claims that he had a broken rib during this performance oh. from the cheerleading challenge. Oh, oh really? really? I know. Yeah, Instagram, and so that was a thing. Breaking news. Mm-hmm. Now, I can I could understand why, you know, they wouldn't put that on the show, because basically, Compared to the producers, they know we got hurt on this show. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> right. It's but you know, like, <laughs> so, uh, give me a walk. Something but still, you were checked yeah. out, and mm-hmm. I'm sorry. You don't have to do death drops, but it's a li- anyone can lip sync. It's Britney Spears. Get out there, point a little, be sexy. Bro, all you have to do is do juicy stomp, stomp, body. And I know like that she can move in those like heels <laughs> because we saw her <laughs> perform live in those heels. So I know. <laughs> Yeah, we well, she wears hip heels. On the well, no, but she had some high heels, so I know she can perform in them. But when we saw her live, she didn't lip sync either. She sang live, so yeah. I understand she's and, not really that queen. But yeah, and I get it because honestly, I thought she did a great live, and I get that's her aesthetic. But bitch, you knew before coming to the mm-hmm. show, you're gonna have to lip sync for your life. Mm-hmm. If we're gonna read them for not sewing, we are definitely gonna read them for not, not being not able to lip sync. Yeah. Every queen should be able to lip sync, and I mean, I can lip sync. Right? Oh. Catch me every Tuesday night. No, we sign, bro. Season 10. (laughs) Stay tuned, bitches. (laughs) Before we wrap this up, girl. Nina Bonina Brown. Why are you crying, bitch? Oh, yeah. You're everything. Why are you crying, girl? You know what? I feel for her because she is grateful she's a beer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Mm -hmm. holding my tears because she really does need to be there. You know? Mm -hmm. She's grateful. You know? She's like, I'm just so grateful that... I can use padding. <laughs> <laughs> right. No. Oh my it, God. This song yeah. is so crazy. It, it to me, it's amazing to see somebody who, like, when I look at her, I look at I I look at Nina as one of the front runners yeah. in the competition. Yeah. If and she just, doesn't psych herself out, if she doesn't psych herself. Just, but even when she does psych herself out, for some reason, she's so, so far she's been delivering. Yeah. She's been delivering even on her her quote unquote worst day. So I'm like, right. she's imagine doing- what she would deliver yeah. if she wasn't psyching herself out right. like that. I like, get it. It's crazy. tough. Yeah. Like, like even like with me, like comedy. I'm my biggest critic. Like, mm-hmm. I'll down myself all day, and someone's like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" So I get why she's so hard on herself. And even when we saw her the other night, I told her like, "I can see you being a comedy queen, like mm-hmm. going towards that way." She's like, "I know. I just really down on myself." I'm like, "Well, bitch, get over it. You're funny. You're good. Mm-hmm. You're right. in this day. She's, she's a natural. natural. I yeah, feel she's like. definitely a natural. She just has to believe in herself. We all believe in you, Nina." We do. We're yeah. rooting for you. We're all rooting for you. <laughs> How dare you? No, no, no. <laughs> all righty, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Outspoken. Uh, please let us know. What did you think about Charlie Hyde's being the one to go home this week? And also, what did you think of Shea Coulee and, and Sasha Velour being the ones who won the challenge this week? Put it down in the comment section. Let yeah. us know. Yeah. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and, like he said, comment. Because we need them. <laughs> I did have to do a little. You defended back. me. You defended me in the comment yeah, section course. when this mean guy came for me, Jeff. Oh, yes, I always got your back. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much. Like we said, like, comment, share, subscribe, and we will see you next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.